Hello, good people of YouTube. Mount Benton here, and today we're going to do an unholy thing. And I'm sure by the title of this video, some of you have surmised what that unholiest of holies is. I'm going to take Miami. I'm going to put a secondary build on it, and not a little wimpy secondary build, a full secondary build. I'm going to treat Yamamoto as if he was a German captain, and all the modules too. We're going to retool this puppy to be a secondary. Machine now funnily enough Yemi actually has more secondary guns than Kerfirst. Yemi has 32 Kerfirst has 28 But Kerfirst are of course way better um The pins on the Kerfirst uh, the 128s are 31 millimeters of pin. This is only 20 um, And the 155s here. They only have 25 millimeters of penetration Well, I I do believe the Kerfirst is like way over the 32 uh, millimeter threshold because of course German HE shells get that special yeah the, the 150s are yeah 37 millimeters so while GK has less secondaries they're of course much better 2.7 time reload time on the 128s and 5.1 second reload time on the 150s whereas the Yammies it's like 6 second reload time on the 127s and like 12 second on the one on the 155s but that is of course without any of the modules my GK is all modules up to be uh, secondary machine. Now what is interesting is that the fire chances on the um, Yami is actually much better than the Kerr first one. Of course they reload lower, um, much slower so they can have a much better fire chance. So the 127 have an 8% chance of starting a fire. The one, um, yeah both of them do have an 8% chance of starting a fire. The 155s have a 10% chance of starting a fire. So that's not actually that bad. It's actually quite good. So Maybe once we get the load times down, that might start to make up for it. But we're going to see. Now, I did, I, I have said before that I had a secondary build on my Yami, but it wasn't a full secondary build. It was kind of a main battery secondary build hybrid. But today we're going to go full in to the secondary build. So let's go ahead and start with the Yamamoto. Um, I know some people, some people tell me to use my Elite Commander XP to... Um, do that to redistribute the points but I'm saving that because I put Lucian's on my curve first I'm missing expert marksman so I'm saving it up enough free XP to get that 19th point like that rather than having to grind it out because I really miss expert marksman on um on curve first so uh, preventive maintenance I take this because it helps out these secondary guns from being knocked out and since this is a yammy of the curve first that the armor isn't that fantastic uh, expert marksman, of course, still just because it is yeah, I mean, the turrets take forever to turn. Now we get into secondary territory. We're gonna take BFT, AFT, Adrenaline Rush, Superintendent, and Manual of Fire Control for secondaries. So uh, you guys should have seen it before. I had a survivability build on Miami. Now Yamamoto here looks just like Luchins now, pretty much. So yeah. <laughs> So this improves the reload time of the secondary guns. Um, yeah, so my battery guns and secondary guns. Yeah, my battery guns with a couple and secondary battery guns. Okay, and this should push their range out. I think yeah, we like out like ten kilometers. I think. So now the modules. All right, so we're going to take off main armaments mod one, and put um, auxiliary armaments to help out those secondary guns from getting knocked out. Keep that one. Change this. Uh, this is going to hurt. The secondary battery mod 1. This is going to increase their firing range even more. And also improve their accuracy. And then we're going to take main battery mod 3. Oh man, this is really going to hurt because I love having that 25 second reload time on Yemi. And change it up for secondary battery mod 2. So now let's look at those stats again. I feel dirty. Because I know this isn't how Yami's supposed to be. Alright, so now the secondary guns. Um, I didn't check their range before. I think it was only like, I don't know. Let's see what it is now. Reload time is now 4.3 seconds for the 127s. Firing range is 10.1 kilometers. So not the curve first 11 kilometers. Um, the 127s, again, 3.6 seconds. The 155s are now 8.6. So I think they're still like, the 127s are still like what two seconds slower then so 4.6 um, 4.3 to GK's yeah 2.7 and 
150s is 5.1. I think, what, they were 8 point something on the Yammy. Um, yeah, 8.6. So, oh wait, hold on. Did I even have the, I don't think I have the secondary flag on here. I don't. Oh boy, more fun. So, it looks like I have 1,400 of these things. Alright, so now that's on there. Oh, let's put the fire flag on there for, for the fun of it. Let's go up to it. Yep, there we go. Should put the speed flag on. The consumable flag. Um, is there a repair? Yeah, the repair flag's on. Is it? Yeah, there it is. Oh, God. Um, of course, the fire flag. And, hold on, what's... Okay, let's take... I like how I still have these on from when I was grinding through this thing the first time. Okay, and that off put the ramming flag on okay now let's see what we're cooking with okay 4.1 seconds now and they have a 10.6 kilometer range so still a full kilometer short of yammy and 8.2 seconds now with a 10.5 percent chance of starting a fire and now 8.5 so this is going to be interesting Let's go ahead and jump into battle now, and please forgive me, people who know how to play Yammy. <laughs> oh, well, it's a carrier game. I mean, my A's should be better than average now. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. I come my concealment still better than this guy. My, arti my artillery's a little bit better because of the secondary guns. Um, well, he must have a pretty vanilla captain on his Yammy. This is funny, I'm out in the middle of the open and I'm not spotted because everyone's either in smoke or behind an island. Or, of course, outside of my spotting range. My detection range, my bad. Look at the Carfers is pinned up against an island, the Conqueror is pinned up against an island. Uh, the Thunder is not, but... Hmm. No, I'm not... Because he's angled enough to where, I don't know, but it is the Thunder, it's pretty squishy. But let's just see what I can do. Oh, that's much better. Pfft. About to have a stroke just then. I'm just trying to go where, where my team's going. <whistles> yeah, those, hit, those, those, should, those should hurt that Puerto Rico. Ah, too high. So I've had time to transit in one of the slowest battleships in the uh, at this tier. From one side to the other, I've been relatively untouched because everyone's hiding. I say that, then the Zao comes out from hiding. Ah, got it. That's the other thing, the terrain indicator is such a troll. Because it's like, yeah, you can make that shot, but I guarantee to you if I fire, like... Half of my shells are going to up oh, or not. I couldn't make it. It didn't. It wasn't lying for once. GK, you have revealed yourself. Where's my Where's my mouse? The Zal, the Shimakaze about to be within range. Nah, the Shimakaze is going to Hindenburg is going to get him. My bad. Conqueror. Oh god, my team's just folding. This turret traverse is pretty nice though, not gonna lie. No oh, midway, go away. And there's a Minotaur. Oh god. Oh, 
Here comes Sap. This is gonna hurt. Oh, come on, come on. He's got lots of armor, that should hurt. Oh, that should have hurt more. Oh boy. Three fires, just like that. Jesus Christ, Minotaur. Go figure. What's our Clebert doing back here? What the heck? He was literally hiding behind the Hakuru. Oh my god. Wow. I, I, I've never seen that. I, mean, I don't know if he disconnected. Well, I don't think he would have, because I mean, this is pretty convenient to disconnect right behind the Hakuru. Mirrors just see how I did. <laughs> Only done forty thousand damage. I'm willing to bet upper half, just judging by how that team did. Upper half. Yep, right in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, right in the middle. Only having done forty thousand damage. <sighs> Wow, that's pretty bad, because, like, really, that, that should be, like, down here. Oh, two brothers! Ugh. Oh, I want to do it. I want to do it. I know I shouldn't. Oh, boy, 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 boy. Okay, I'm gonna wait and see what side they're committed to, and then I'm gonna go mid. Shit, that Minotaur. Ah, oh, boy, he's being smart. That's gonna be a problem if he uh, if he stays there. What is going on here? Uh. Uh, midway. Uh, do you need some alone time with Kerr first? Alright, we're gonna have to... Okay, looks like this GK is going for it. Yes, I approve of your support, sir. Alright, this Minotaur, he's gonna be our caveat. Um... Now, if we can get through... And hmm, okay. Looks like they're heavily focused on the western side. What battleship is that over there? Montana. Okay. Dang it, audacious spoiling everything. He pop his hydro yet? So we should go probably go right when we exit. Um, we'll see what this because there's no way you can survive the freaking combined might of the Western fight. Although, maybe we should... Oh, ship, here comes the audacious. Ah, there's the Minotaur! Uh, 
Alright, we're going left. Ah, excellent job, GK. Hmm, yes, the curse of overpens. Take out that Minotaur. Oh my god, overpens. Why? Time to use the GK's body as a torpedo shield. There we go. You should be getting pretty low. There we go. <laughs> Worth it. Okay, looks like I think they're a GK, and this little group's gonna like power around this way. So we'll meet them right here, and I will do yammy things to their bow, and we'll see what the secondaries can do. Unless they're gonna go around nor uh, north of sea, then cut down into south. Um, we'll see. No, Puerto Rico, go away. Is that AP? I thought they switched that to HE. Or can... Are they just not colored anymore? No, it's gotta be HE. Yeah, it's HE. Maybe it's just the lighting on the map. I can't tell. Okay, I knocked out one of his turrets. Be gone, Puerto Rico. Oh my god, shells are being so trolly right now. Okay, he's flooring it. Maybe about to turn. Can open. Oh, yeah, I can open up on him because he's just a Puerto Rico. He can't really pin me that much. Knocked out another turret. Should I get that rear 155 on him? Okay, there's that GK. Oh, they're still peppering him. Not doing a lot of damage though. Oh, there we go. Started a fire. The good thing is that GK, I think he's preoccupied. Shit. Zao's down.
Yes, goes out. Ha! Get another torp hit on him? Nope. Come on, turret number three. Rotate. Oh, never mind. Alright, let's nuke the Puerto Rico now. Dang it! Ah, turrets just weren't fast enough. Ah! Alright, so he does 14,000 damage that game. One hit shy of 200 sector hits. Got one kill, but unfortunately we did. Unf quite unfortunately, get killed by the Puerto Rico. Um, guns could Well, actually, I think the guns reloaded fast enough. The turrets just couldn't keep up with the Yemi turning. But I did actually finish number three on the team, so go frickin' figure. Alright, so to no surprise, uh, Yami's not that good as, as in the secondary build. I mean, granted, this was just three games, but I mean, again, in today's meta, Yami's just way, way better at being Yami rather than being a secondary build Yami. But I just wanted to see what it would have been like if I actually committed to a full secondary build Yami. And, again, it's not that great. Um, you know, the first two games, I'm not sure how much of those I'm going to show you guys, because I only did like 60,000 damage each game, if that. Uh, that was not entirely just my fault but some of those teams weren't that fantastic and um in the first game we definitely got steamrolled second game not so much but i mean i did go mid on two brothers a bit early but yeah <laughs> so yep yeah, yami i'm gonna go ahead and put my old build back on yami the old survivability and main battery build uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know if you run any really silly builds on any ships. Because, again, you know, I do like that you can do silly stuff like this uh, in this game. Unfortunately, you know, it's not going to be that effective. But, hey, you can do it. Um, but I, I did actually enjoy doing this. It was interesting. It was interesting and, and it was fun. But, anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We are on our way to 8,000 subscribers, and we are getting very near that goal. We are actually just under 500 subs away from that goal. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. And I hope you're having a great Tuesday. I'll be catch you guys in the next one.